Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to overclock and undervolt your laptop GPU to reduce high GPU temperature, reduce power consumption and then potentially get more stable performance in games. So let's get started. First, open your MSI Afterburner. I will leave the link in the description. Press the reset button here to reset all your current settings. And then open your curve editor right here. You will see something intimidating like this. Let's start off by overclocking the core clock. You can put in plus 150 megahertz as a starting point. You can see what it did here. After that, go play with the most GPU intensive games you have to test stability. I like to use Cyberpunk 2077 because if you're overclocking and undervolting really unstable, it will crash instantly, so that's very obvious sign and I like it. After some time of playing and the game still don't crash, you can increase the core clock by plus 50 megahertz until the game finally crash. But for my laptop, I get crash at 275 megahertz, so 250 megahertz is the sweet spot. Your value might be different. To read this graph, on the horizontal axis here is your voltage value in millivolts, and the vertical axis here is your GPU clock speed. If you use a laptop, you can start off with 900 millivolts here and then drop it down gradually. But for my laptop, I still get stable at 775 millivolts here. If you want lower temperature, you can even go for 750 millivolts. To start undervolting, you can click on the 775 millivolts point here or again any value that you want to choose. Hold your shift key, and above the point beyond 775 millivolts, highlight all the points until the end. Release your shift key, and then select the point beyond 775 millivolts and drag it down way lower than stock. And then hit apply there. You are done. Your value might be different than mine. You can now close the curve editor. To finish off the undervolting, you can adjust the memory clock value. 300 MHz is a good starting point and then you can increase it gradually. It's also the same as core clock, you need to test in games for stability until it crash. For my laptop here, I can go up to 1450 MHz and it's still stable. Hit apply. Now this is the settings for my particular hardware. Don't copy my settings because it may not work for you. To save this settings, press the save button here. And then select any profile slot here. Press the lock icon to lock all the setting profiles here. If you want to load the undervolting faster, you can also click on this settings icon here. And then leave a tick on start with windows and start minimized if you want. Hit apply and ok. You are done, that's it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it does, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.